Hello everyone, Jo here and as usual we are just going to give it a few moments while we get ourselves set up and um, allow everyone to find us and to make sure that my lights are all set up okay for everyone and we're just um, yeah just doing a little bit of checking that everything's working so please do bear with me um, while I do that and just so that I can see all your comments let me um, move that oh I thought I'd already put myself on mute but I didn't there we go how's that so I'm just checking the light situation as well <clears throat> So we're hoping to get it a little bit better than we had it last week where um, there was a little bit of shadow when I was when I was colouring um, so I guess we will we will see how it goes um, but I'm hoping that uh, I'm not creating too much of a shadow there excellent how is everyone this evening are we all well <clears throat> Just gonna get myself sat down here. Pull out my little, um, my little cart of uh, bits and pieces. So I've got everything around me that we need. Hello to Shani. Hello, Alice. Hello, you're here on time. <laughs> Bless you. Um, Laura Ann's here. Lindsay's here. Katrina's here. Hello, Katrina. How are you? Alison's with us, Angie's with us, she says that looks great, excellent. And Lindsay says, oh my favourite sloths. So yes, tonight um, I decided that we would have a little play with the sloths because I haven't really been able to play with them because they're always out of stock. Um, let me just see if I can raise my chair up a little. Although I can't remember which, <laughs> which, uh, that's the one. Oh, that's gone far down. There we go. Just raise my chair up a little bit so that uh, I'm a bit higher up. Oh, <laughs> hello again, says Siobhan. Um, Alison says um, she missed, missed me the last couple of weeks, but you're back tonight. Well, life gets in the way, but I'm very glad you're with us this evening, Alison. Hello, Marie, how are you? So, as you um, probably know, um, if you've been following our stories on Instagram and you've been, you obviously been with us um, on the lives, I'm reorganising my craft space um, at the moment. So everything is a little bit, well, it's get, we really are getting there. We really are getting there. It's just the last few little bits that need sorting. Um, but of course everything's in a different place to where it normally is <clears throat> excuse me so that does mean that i might not be able to find everything <laughs> so but we'll we'll see how it goes um but i do have an idea for a card today um like i say because of the sloths so um the sloths are um so marie says she's now a bit better than she was last monday have you not been too well marie i hope you're well now and that you um, I can enjoy a little bit of crafty time with us so um i do have some news about some back in stocks so we have the um and i've written them all down because um i'd and um, we'll forget them so we've got um we've got the bears picnic the all occasion critters which i know are super super popular they're back in stock we've got the home sweet home set which i know a lot of you have been asking about the moverless um stamps the unicorn um unicorn in training stamp set again which is super popular our lovely sloths which we can barely keep in in stock and the baked with love which again is another one um that is uh, it is really hard for us to keep in stock so um so yeah so i was toying with whether to use the bait with love because i've been i've been deliberately not using it because we didn't have it in stock but um like i say i haven't played with the sloths for a, for a good while so i thought we'd have a, have a little play with those uh, today 
Um, so I've got my um, Ever Faithful A6 dies, uh, dies out so that we can cut our cardstock. But this is, um, these are two um, new products that we're going to be having um, in the shop. Um, I just haven't had a chance to list them yet because, I, like I say, I'm, I've been so busy with the renovations that I've not had to, I've barely sat down at my desk. But um, we have got some pre cut craft coloured cardstock and pre cut. Um, a6 size cardstock super smooth in two different gsms um i couldn't quite remember what the other one was that i'd uh, i think i've got a 240 and um a two maybe i can't remember i can't remember which one it was um I think a two, yeah, maybe that's um, a one, one eighty and a two forty. But I'll, I, I, I'll double check that because I can't remember. <laughs> um, but both super smooth and great for stamping on and for ink blending on. So um, I'm going to use those today because it's really handy for me that they are pre-cut. Um, I just I like that for when I'm stamping it fits nicely into my stamping platform um, and is great for me uh, for that point of view I'm going to use this um, which is our cozy sweater stencil and it's it's got some washi tape stuck to it still from when I last used it so we'll just get rid of that because we don't need that um, so I'm going to use that I think in my background I'm going to use it to look like leaves um, Marie says last Monday she was rushed by ambulance to the hospital at Rotterdam. They thought that you'd had a stroke, but luckily I didn't. Um, but now have a psychosomatic disorder. Oh heavens, that sounds awful, Marie. I do hope that you're getting, um, you know, you, you're getting plenty of help and rest with that. Um, Angie says, um, is is it freezing for anyone else or is it just me? I am frozen. Um, I'm actually. I'm actually just taking my jumper off, um, Angie, because in this, um, in my new craft space, it gets really, really warm, which I love. But outside, it is absolutely freezing. You're right. So, um, so yeah. So it is very cold here in Sheffield. Um, so we have um, also we have our lots of love dye that I'm going to use as well. Yeah, it must have been really scary. I hope you've got people with you who are taking care of you um, and that you're okay. Uh, you're, you're feeling a bit better now. I do have um, my cup of tea in my Central Perk mug, so I'm just going to have a little slurp of that. Because, um, like I said, I haven't really stopped as always. Now, my... Directing machine is unplugged itself, so I'm going to get that bad boy plugged in as well, ready for action. Yep, that's ready to go, so that's good news. Get that in position. And I think what we'll do, we'll start with creating our background. I think that's what I, I like to have a play with my inks. Um... Oh, you meant the <laughs> so you meant the live feed is freezing. Well, I don't seem to be having any, any problems my end, which is unusual, um, Angie. So, my guess is that it might be an issue at your end. But um, is anybody else having any problems? Yes, I totally read it wrong as well. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to line up my stencil onto my cardstock here. Um, because, like I say, I want this to be my kind of leafy background. Um, so I'm just going to try and line that up as straight as best I can. And like I say, this is the cardstock that is pre-cut to A6 in size. So let's just pop that on there and flip that over. Now my blender brushes are just up here above me but I can still reach them so that's grand um, and I'm going to need some green because we're going to go probably green and yellow so I'm going to get my green and yellow out ready um, 
Annalisa says this stencil is so beautiful. Annalisa, I have to say I am so sorry that I haven't responded to your message just yet. I, I haven't I haven't stopped all day, so I will respond as soon as I'm off this uh, this live. So um, please accept my my many apologies for that for being uh, very poor. I hate it when people don't respond to to me. So um, I feel bad that I've done the same to you. So I do apologise. So. Um, like I say, I'm still working on my little setup here, so I just need to move some bits out of the way so I can grab my inks. Um, it, eventually, my inks are going to be wall mounted, which is very exciting. I am very, very excited about that. So I've got a bit of twisted citron. I might use a bit of scattered straw, a bit of um, mowed log. So I want this to be quite a nice, bright, cheerful card. Um, because we're hoping to be getting back into um, back into real life, aren't we? We're hoping that we're going to start seeing people again. Um, Annalisa, sending you love, Joy. I know how busy you are. You're very, very patient. Thank you so much. Katrina says, tell me about your blue mat. Is it silicon? It is blue. It is. Um, my blue mat is a silicon mat. We've had these in the shop, but we sold out. So I am um, investigating getting some more because they were very, very popular. Um, we haven't practiced um, and I haven't tested doing the reverse stamping technique on it. But I do believe it should work with that with the right inks. Um, so I am going to test that out. But it is really, really cool. Um, Laura says she was in two minds when she bought it but she loves it it is fantastic um, it is really um, a great little tool it's small enough to fit on my on my desk here so that you can see it all and it just rolls up really easily and it's heat resistant up to like 500 degrees so I can put my um, you know do my heat embossing on it and it'll be totally protected which I think is also really awesome Oh, I've just frozen there. Um, hopefully you guys can still see me. So, um, let's let's start with a bit of squeezed lemonade on the top. Um, Katrina says, Fab, she will order one when they're back. She's been after one for a while. I shall definitely let you know. So, a um, really cool feature that is um, on the website that I have just done uh, managed to do today is um, there's a notify me um, uh, pop-up that comes up when something's out of stock. So if you search for something um, and it's out of stock and you really would like to um, be alerted to when we have it back in stock, you can just add your details and it will tell you as soon as I add the stock back into the shop, you'll get um, an email to confirm it's there so that you can grab yours um, before anybody else, which I think is really cool. Um, I've been wanting to do it for a while um, and I just had to investigate how to do it um, because like I say, I do, I manage my own website. I don't have anybody that does that for me. <laughs> I've built it all myself, which, you know, is probably very obvious <laughs> at times. But um, but yes, it's uh, so now you can um, hit that notify me button and it will tell you when they're back in stock, which I think is a really cool idea. So um, I'm loving how this is turning out. I think I'm going to go with a darker shade of yellow at the top. Um, I just think that that will look really kind of cool. It will bring it all together. I'm, um, I don't know whether to go with a bit of um, the crushed olive actually, but no, we'll, we'll stick with yellow. A bit of mustard seed. And I've not cleaned off my brush in between this because I'm using shades of yellow and shades of green. So I know that they're going to work together um, and they're going to blend really nicely. So I'm not going to worry that I'm mixing those together. Um, I wouldn't obviously mix different colours together from different colour families, but for these it's absolutely fine so um, i'm just going to go back in with some squeezed lemonade over the top and just blend all that through and i think that's going to look really really cool and i think the great thing about the uh, this particular um stencil is that you can make it what you want to you know it's uh 
it's it's called cozy sweater so it is a little bit cable knit sweater like but is also very much um akin to be to looking like leaves if you do it in that color so that's what we're going to do um katrina says she will alert herself um missed you getting it it's not uh it's not done or been following anything crafty the past three weeks you've not been crafty for the past three weeks what have you been have you been busy with the children has it been easter holidays um all of that um andy says it makes her want lemon pie <laughs> that's cool um and cam says hi cam wow that's amazing you do it all yourself i do um i'm very much a one woman band well i say that i mean obviously i couldn't do any of it without aunt helping me because he is an absolute dream um it's such a huge help for me um, so just pop those back on my shelf on my little spinny, spinny caddy. Um, so, but a bit, obviously to to save costs and and so on, I do do um, the majority of things. We do them ourselves because that's you know that's what we have to do to keep our costs down um, and keep our overheads down. So I, I can't really afford to pay anyone professional to do it for me. Um, so I have to do it myself. <laughs> um, Katrina says she's exhausted from work and selling and finding a new home. Oh goodness, yes. I think my uh, chamois have dried out a little bit. I might have to reactivate these. Um, but uh, that is an exhausting thing to be doing, Katrina. Um, I definitely don't envy you. Um, Aunt and I have said that we, we will probably never move house because we couldn't be bothered to go through all of the hassle that comes with it. Um, the, the only time we're going to move, we've said, is when we retire and we're going to retire out to the sun somewhere. That's the hope anyway. <laughs> One day we'll be able to do that, we hope. Um, Siobhan says, well, you do really well with the website. Thank you. Um, Marie bless you, you are having an awful time of it um, and I can see everybody sending you lots and lots of love which is which is great, they definitely should um, and we, we wish you wish you well, wish you lots of health, definitely. Right, I'm just going to pop some of these back in here, oops, um, so excuse my arm getting in the way, like I say Eventually these are going to be up on the wall so I won't have to reach across hopefully and that will just make everything a little bit more within my reach. And um, yeah, um, when, when it's all done I will 100% do a tour because I know I've been promising and promising and promising to do a tour. Now I think I'm going to mat and layer this onto a bit of craft card because I think that's going to look really cool. So let me get my, um, but what, what I'm thinking is, is that, that my cover plate die is exactly A6, you see. So my craft card needs to be a bit bigger, but we do have some A4 sheets of craft card as well to go in the shop. So um, I won't be able to use the pre-cut piece on this particular occasion, but that is going to look really cool. It's going to look like we've got leaves in the background, which I think is awesome. So let me grab a bit of white cardstock if I can find any in my uh, stash here. This is a nice piece. This is a very thick piece, but it's a very nice piece. So I think I'm going to use this. So one of the, the, uh, the things that I'm really excited about is that I'm going to be um, reorganising a lot of bits. So. When, when we first um, organised my craft and office space in the um, what was our dining room originally, um, I did declutter and I did get rid of an awful lot of things. Um, and I was really, you know, it was, I felt very cleansed after doing it. Um, I felt very, uh, very good after having done it. Um, let me just move that around a little bit. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I don't have a lot of unnecessary stuff now. Excuse me while I make a noise, um, while I pop this through my die cutting machine. It is very noisy, so I do apologise. Sorry for the noise. 
guys there and um, but it, it wasn't all everything wasn't although it was it was um decluttered it wasn't necessarily where i wanted it to be um all the time and i was feeling very hemmed in in the space that i was in um now um the space that i moved to is just dedicated to my office and craft space whereas before i was surrounded by stock so it was also a stock room and a craft room um so uh, and, and office because obviously this is where i i do my day-to-day -day work as well so that made it quite difficult really because um like i said i did feel quite penned in all of these little hearts um are gorgeous and you should definitely keep them so one of the things that i'm looking forward to doing is organizing all of my scraps again because I do keep all of my scraps and all of my little bits um, but I, I need a, a more permanent place for them to live so um, and a little bit better organization of them so that if I if I want to use them I can just grab them and I did have a little um, go at doing that I'll just quickly show you because I think this is such a cool idea um, so this is um, actually a little um, A6 um, pocket photo album uh, that I've had for years and what I've done is all the bits that I've already coloured in or pre-cut that I've just never used or I might have stamped and not coloured in, all those little things, I've just popped them in here so that I can come back to them um, if I want to make a quick card. Um, and I just think that that's just a really fun way of doing it, just an easy way of doing it. Um, and it will just mean that, you know, I can just flick through and say, right, I want to do something. I've got some images here that are from um, the, uh, the winter set or some that are from the bees. I've got, I need a sentiment. I've already got some already um, set up. Um, so, uh, you know, I've already got some bits uh, coloured in for a background there. I've got some of my smitten kittens. And it's just, it's just really easy to flick through. And because they're all small items, that's a perfect place to do it. And I've got, also got plenty of other spaces. And you can fit them. I don't know if this, this will show you, but you can actually get two lots in the same, same sleeve because it's got a centre to it. So I don't know if you can see that. So you can have things stored back to back, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm excited about uh, using that um, in the future for some quick cards. So, um, but little things like this, I can also pop in there as well, which I think is a really cool idea. Um, but I'm just going to store them there for the moment. Um, so just catch up. Hi Jane, um, what a great idea of a spare one of those albums that was about to go to the charity shop. That's it, you see, keep little things like that um, because they can work perfectly for something like this. I feel like I've just gone on the wonk a little bit there. I'll just try and straighten myself up a little bit. Angie's moving from the UK to a Greek island. I would love to do that. Um, one day we will be able to do. Um, who's losing their crafty space? I've not caught up. Angie says that she's going to be losing my, losing her crafty space and her sewing room, but you are going to Greece. So, but the new house for Katrina will give you a craft room, which is amazing. Angie's packing boxes and decluttering in your dreams and now packing up your house to move abroad. Wow, everybody's moving. Um, Marie says she's going to shut up with her problems, just chilling. Um, with on our I'm sorry I've, I can't read that but with over to your iPad darling so you're just chilling and you're going onto your iPad and you mustn't shut up <laughs> at all we love to hear from you and it's good to know that you're you're feeling much better um, so yes having a craft room all of your own will definitely worth the move um, yes I think I've just Yes, I can't keep up with everything when Ant's not with me, you see. This is why I need him. 
So, but Aunt, bless him, has been working so hard for me today that I have given him a very well-deserved night off because he is, um, he's put me some amazing, he's actually handmade me some of the most amazing shells. Let me just grab some of this craft card stock. I think this is uh, quite a good weight as well for me to be able to make my card. So let's have a look. Yeah, I just think that would make a really nice backdrop for this, wouldn't it? So we can roll up my silicon mat because I don't need that now. So I'll just roll that up and pop it. Um, Hi Luna, she says she's a little bit late because her internet's playing up and Lauren says that organisation is the bane of our life, I don't have enough space and always buying more and trying to use space more wisely. That's it, I think, you know, you can drive yourself mad with um, buying different boxes and things like that. Um, so uh, if anything that I, you know, come up with can be of help, then um, it's, uh, I'll certainly, you know, I'll be sharing it with you because I'm not in a big space. This is um, like a typical box room, small bedroom kind of a space. Um, so, and, but we have totally maximised it. I will absolutely say that. So I'm going to get out a scoring board here that, um, that I have. So I'm going to score my craft card. Um, to the right size here because I want I'm going to make it my card base as well as making it the border of my um, my card so let me just line this up so that I've got the right amount of border all the way around and I think that that looks about right and I've got a little scoring tool here um, do I want it that bit up that bit wider? I don't think so. If I do it like that, then I know I'm getting the same amount of space around. So, sorry, you guys can't see the bottom of what I'm doing. Oh, I can fit it all on actually. Let me just move this up slightly. I've got more space than I thought. So, Angie's going to be too busy feeding hundreds of cats. Um, we'll have to be really selective with what you take. Make sure you take some time for tea stuff. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I'm just, yeah, I do envy you going and feeding all of the cats um, because when we when we've been to Greece before, that's exactly what we've done. Um, and we, I always make and take me to. Um, a, uh, a supermarket so that we can um, we can go and buy some things for the kitty cats. So this is a We Are Memory Keepers scoreboard and trimmer and I actually haven't really used it that much for the scoreboard um, uses. Um, really um, for, for the trimming purposes sorry I've used it more for the scoreboard so um, yeah I'm gonna try using it now as a trimmer so I hope that you can see what I'm doing um, and let's see if it'll trim through this oh that's quite cool that is quite cool yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It's not quite where on the line that I wanted it, but uh, that's my fault, not the scoreboards. Um, it's because it is actually, it's a little bit counterintuitive. So um, look how fine that's cut, that's brilliant. So I normally expect the cut to be down the middle of this, this little um, blade here, but my blade is right on the edge and it cuts down this line here, which is pretty cool. So, um, so yeah, so now I have quite a tall card, but um, I'm going to be able to just cut that down now to the size that I want. Um, if I pop it under here, and um, my cut line is along the blue line here. So again, I'd be 
thinking it's going to be down this line but it's not it's this line here so I just have to line up my cardstock with the right amount of gap and again I'm just I'm not measuring it I'm just doing it by eye that's that's how I like to do it um, I've not got time for measuring who's got time for measuring and then just cut that down there and now I've made my own card base to my own bespoke size but it is still um it will still fit into an a6 card base i'm sure a card uh, envelope Ooh, speak so um i've got some very cool um storage solutions for all of my tools behind me which i will also show you i'm so pleased with how it's all turned out i really am and like i say ant's done me an absolute cracking job with all these bespoke um shelves and yeah it's great and the amount of light that's in here during the day i know it's quite difficult for you guys to see at the moment but the light in the day is beautiful um oh, i'm a little bit on the one can't I? my mat isn't on the desk so it must be my phone so let me just attempt to move that without making you feel ill that might be a little bit better Oh, you're going to Skathos, and um, I've never been to Skathos, but I have heard that it's lovely. Um, Chivon says you cat, her cat had little kittens last night. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Um, oh. And Lisa says she's loved seeing the progress in our videos. We are definitely getting there. We are. Um, so I've now got the backdrop for my for my card. And I'm really liking that. And I might also do a little bit of um, a bit of a border along the centre of there, um, backed onto some craft card. But we'll see. I'm gonna. I'll. I'll see <laughs> because I need to colour in and cut out my little um, my little sloths now. So now we've got our background. We can start working on our slots. Um, so, let me get my stamping platform out. And let's uh, get my super smooth paper. So this is my super smooth cardstock um, that's pre-cut, like I said. It's absolutely gorgeous. Fits in my platform, super easy. Um, and that's amazing. So. Now then let's just think about which of the images that we want to pop on here. Um, I think I'm going to go with this guy uh, because I want to use the sentiment let's hang out. Now I really wanted to use as well with this the um, maybe uh, one of the sentiments that was um, like uh, from the mum and dad set. So maybe um, to say, Dad, let's hang out, or Mom, let's hang out. And um, there's also the friend sentiment on there. Um, but I cut in the move. <laughs> that has somehow gone walkabouts. I am sure it is around here somewhere, but at the moment it is. Um, it has eluded me. So um, I may have to uh, do some searching around for that. I don't know where that's gone. Oh, you've managed to home all those kittens. Yes, you would have had a lot of interest around here for those kittens. <laughs> um, Marie says, Joe, I have eggshell shell nails. I do. I did them for, for Easter. Um, so they're, they're um, growing out a little bit now. So I am going to redo them this weekend. Um, but I've loved them because they are just like mini eggs. And they're cute. They do make me want chocolate all the time, though. <laughs> um I still haven't coloured up sloths, really need to stamp them out, they are so cute, says Natalie. They, they really are um, very, very cute. So let me make sure I've got all of this on camera for you. Now where have I put my inks? They're down here. <laughs> um, it's like a little, it's, you know when you do, um, when you do a little bit of reorganising and you, you go through all your stuff, you find things that you forgot you had for a start, which is really cool. Um, but then you also rediscover things that you already knew you had um, and because there's there's somewhere different 
it just, um, I don't know, it just makes it all a little bit new again and just makes it all a bit more exciting again. Um, or is that just me? <laughs> um, Lauren says she used the sloths to make snick uh, Snickers. That's talking about chocolate. <laughs> Stickers for a journal. That's such a good idea. So um, I did toy with the idea, and I haven't had a chance to do it, of using different stamps um, with my um, adhesive sheets so that you could make them into stickers, which is such a cool idea, isn't it? So, uh, so yeah, I love that idea. And I do love um, the idea of um, journaling more. Um, I definitely want to do more of that this year. Um, I do have um, a, a, a diary that I use regularly um, and I, I keep it up to date but um, it's not the same as, as a journal, I, I do I appreciate that so um, it would be great to have um, an actual journal or maybe even an art journal. Alison says, Oscar says good night. He hopes Aunt will be around next week to tell him to go to bed. That's so cute. I will make sure that he pops in and um, makes a special appearance, even if it's just to tell Oscar to go to bed. But I will do it in his absence tonight. Oscar, get yourself to bed. <laughs> and good night and sleep well. Um, so uh, that's very cute. I will tell him that you were thinking of him. That's very sweet. Um, He's, uh, he, he deserved a little bit of um, man time tonight, so he's actually in the gym at the moment. So that he gets a little bit of uh, bit of downtime, where he's not just, um, he feels like I think he's been doing, um, I'm just, just going to try and zoom in a little bit, but I don't know if it'll let me, there we go. Zoom in so that you can see, my, see me colouring. A little bit and can move this little chap down it's a little bit better isn't it um just remind me i need to um zoom back out again afterwards <laughs> um yeah he feels like he's been doing uh, diy for months bless him which in, in a way he kind of has because um yeah we've <laughs> we've been at it it feels like we've been at it for ages so I'm going to use my, one of these little sloths that I've coloured previously as my guide to remind myself of how I coloured uh, coloured him in. Um, I don't know exactly the, the colours that I used, but uh, I shall do my best to follow them. Got a bit of glue on there somehow. I feel like they might be the E50 shades. So let's grab a few of these out of my my pot here um, and uh, we'll see how these these work um, so I think his face is really quite a light I've done it quite a light colour and I'm hoping that my my hands not casting a shadow this time I don't think it is is it it's much better than it was last time so I'm, I'm happy with that because we did have a little bit of a bit of a shadow when I was colouring and it was hard for you to see what I was doing wasn't it so um, E51, E53 um, just to add a little bit of depth around the side of his faces and um, around his belly and then I'll go back over that and just blend that out a little bit while the um, ink is still a little wet, I think it's always good to just add a little bit of pink to the cheeks. So a little bit of pink to his cheeks with the R20 and then we'll go in with the darker colours on um, the rest of his body. So I think we'll do um, maybe an E51 just around the... Um, the outer edge so on the middle of his head that will probably be a bit lighter around the outside there um, and then the rest is probably going to be a bit darker isn't it so bring that in and it, it's a small image so we don't have to go mad we just want to make sure that we've 
giving him a bit of dimension along the way. There we go. So yeah, you may be able to hear music downstairs, but I do think the fact that I'm I'm now upstairs um, and means that uh, if Ant is downstairs and he wants to go in the gym, then he absolutely can. Um, and it won't interfere with anything that I'm doing. So that's been really good um, as well. Um, it just means that it's a little bit quieter up here. Because it can be a bit noisy when they're in the gym. They have, uh, he has the music on very loud. Um, so, and he's always worried about walking through to the kitchen and um, and disturbing me so we now we don't have to worry about that so just blend that dark color in Jane says the lighting is much better this evening yes we've cracked it I think we're certainly getting there aren't we um, I did have a, an idea about for this for the noise um, and maybe putting my um, my earphones in um, and whether maybe that would help but the only dif difficulty that is that I can't have my earphones in, I can't have my charger plugged in, so I don't want it to run out of charge while we're while we're working, obviously. So we may have to just put up with the um, with the old noise. So let's have a look. Oh, I've got two E35s there. That's a, that must be one that's run out. So we'll remove that. So I'm going to colour in the um, the tree. So I've got, got a few shades for the tree, don't think we'll use that one, we'll just go, so I want the, the tree to be a different kind of brown. Um, Marie says she thinks she still has trouble with her colouring or painting stamps, so um, would is anyone interested in another colouring class, because we have had one colouring class um, already with our little um, Easter bunny. And if so, if you were interested in, in a colouring class, what would you like it to focus on? What would be what would be your preference of focus? Sorry, that was the E33 that I just used there. And Marie says her husband is now on the PlayStation. <laughs> um, Angie says, oh yes, to a colouring class. Um, Lauren says she would do it again. Excellent. I've seen some great practice sheets from you from you guys as well that uh, took part in the last one. So um, I'm thinking of probably doing one next month. Um, Yvonne says yes, another colouring class. She loved it. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you so much. Um, definitely, I thought the last one proved quite expensive as it comes Vince me to buy my first Covix. I cannot be held responsible for purchases of alcohol pens. I do apologise. But how are you finding the the uh, your new purchase? So that sorry, that was the E thirty five. Um, I'm going back in with the E thirty four. I keep meaning to just leave the little lids off for you to see what I'm doing, and then I I forget. Um. So um, yeah, how are you finding that? And what would you like this to be um, to be on uh, the colouring class? I was thinking of maybe doing um, a critters one because um, that, that's our current challenge. Um, but I don't know how to pay you, my darling. Do you um, you would put, just purchase it through the shop? Um, uh, so it would be an online class again, like we did last time. Um, and you would receive some digi stamps to colour in, or you could use your actual um, stamps that you've got from us here. Um, let me just have a. I feel like that I want to do a little bit darker um, under under its kind of where his uh, body is overlapping. So I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of the E57. Just, you know where there's be a bit of shadow just to create a that little bit more depth because like I say I just I just feel like it needs it in some areas and then we'll use the E55 
to blend that out a little and just going over the top of that just to smooth it out a little bit. So I just add that in there. That, that's just giving him a bit more depth. Jane hasn't managed to finalise her order yet. She's been juggling, working, and little girl is ill. Oh, bless you! So you've um, so you've got some um, Copics on order, but you've not received them yet. Oh, that's exciting though. I'm excited for you to receive them, and I hope your little girl gets better. Bless her. That's awful. Um, and Angie's husband is into PC gaming, and he's upstairs gaming now. And he loves that he can stay up there till 10 pm on Thursdays. And uh, well, Ant's uh, a gamer, but he's got an Xbox. Well, he's not really a gamer. Like, he's a casual, casual gamer, should we say? Um, he doesn't really know what he's doing. But him and his, him and his friend um, like to while away a number of hours, shall we say, um, on there. I'm thinking, um, what colour shall I go for? I'm thinking that I might have used a warm grey. Let's have a look. Because uh, I don't want it to be too dark and obliterate his eyes. Um, so I'm just going to do his little... Um, I suppose they're claws, are they? Little claws. Um, and warm grey five for his eyes. It won't be too dark, I don't think. No, that's good. Just add a bit more. So yeah, he's not um, not a serious gamer, but he's he does like to go on his uh, Xbox for hours um, when I'm crafting or just work still working. He'll be um, on his Xbox, wasting a bit of time. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to do some leaves then that are similar um, in tone to our. Um, a background I think is what I'm going to try and achieve anyway because um, I want to keep them nice and fresh so I'm looking at um, some YG um, shades which are always very good for um, nice fresh colour of leaves um, I do like so the YG YG01 I'll pop that on there for you to see I think is one of my one of my favourites so I'm just going to add that to each of the, the leaves. Um, Angie says, I love that they have a hobby too, so they can't manage us. Exactly. Well, that's the ant thing, really. His hobby is um, in the, he likes to be in the gym, which is good for his job. Being a firefighter, keep him fit is part of his job. Um, but in terms of just relaxing downtime, um, he does enjoy... Um, the Xbox definitely but we both enjoy films and, and um, movies uh, we're definitely um, film buffs we also um, love a good um, Netflix uh, documentary binge um, so that's what tends to be our kind of downtime together we, um, we, we used to love going to the cinema but obviously we haven't been able to do that for so long um, Oh no, she's got a fever that she can't shift. That sounds really poor, really bad. Bless her. Um, I do hope she's feeling better soon. Um, Julie says she couldn't make the last cover. cover blah, blah, I can't speak. Colouring session, but would love to do one still. I'd like to learn about how to do light and shadows a bit better and skin tones. So yes, yeah, skin tones is one that I've been asked for um, before. So we could definitely do a skin tones one. Um, now then, I'm just sorry, I'm just looking for my dye to uh, coordinate with this little fella. Um, so I'm thinking that that would be a good one to do with the fairy set. Um, but we could obviously look at doing... Um, so if you've got the fairy set, you could use it for that. Um, or any of your other sets where, um, you know, you're colouring in humans. But we could also do an exclusive digi stamp, especially for the for the session as well, um, that will give you a chance to practice colouring different different skin tones, different ethnicities, that kind of thing, which I think is a really good good thing to cover. A definite. 
so um so yeah so do let me know what you guys think and what you what you would what else you would like to cover angie says she loves a binge too loves the cinema and i'm a rockin restaurant on your road wow having a, a restaurant on your road is perfect um we do have a really gorgeous sorry about the noise bear with me. her and her husband love movies and music and you've named your daughter um, after a soundtrack from a movie what what is your daughter's name you must tell us um, Angie says the bubbles image you love her oh she's a really good she's a classic one um, Marie says the Gemini oh wow I don't think I know the film I don't know the film That's uh, that. and and is that what what is her name? Is that her name? Need more need more details, Marie. So um, yes, the bubbles image um, is a, a retired digi stamp from way back in the day. So that shows you how long Angie's been following time for tea, <laughs> which is so cool. And th that is um, a very cool. Um, that was always very popular actually it was one of our most pop populars um so bear with i'm gonna just um zoom back out again a little bit if i can if it'll let me come on i just have to hit it oh i've i've gone the other way apologies <laughs> you have to hit it in the right place otherwise it uh it doesn't like to do it. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. We're back. We're back in the room. Got a view of my ceiling there. <laughs> Not the Gemini. Iris from the film City of Angels. Fantastic name. What a beautiful name. So I'm going to just pop that to one side and we'll be able to use that again. My plan is to keep... Um, you know my stamping card scraps separate from my red regular card scraps so that I um you know I don't mix them up and uh, because my stamping card obviously is pretty precious so we've now got our background here which is pretty cool but I don't want my little um, my little sloth here to get lost um, on that background so this is why I was thinking that it might be nice just to do a little strip along here which has um, some craft card in the background as well so I'm just layering this up just to see what that would look like obviously it won't be as thick as this but then we can pop our little little guy in there and we can have the sentiment as well so I'm going to give that a go. I'm going to trim it down anyway and see what happens. Um, Angie says that her twin cats are Maddie and Hattie from the Mad Hatter. Oh, how cute. Um, your favourite Disney. And our Greeky is Am Amelia Pond from Doctor Who. What a cute name. Um, and our eldest British Blue has a normal name, Bonnet. That's really sweet. So you guys know that I've got two cats. Um at the moment and um but i did have three cats uh, at one time and um our um and you know that we I, I, well i don't know if you know but uh, we do have um one of the cats that we have now is clyde he's the old boy and he uh, he's the one that has three legs and um and moans a lot <laughs> bless him but you'd moan a lot, wouldn't you, if you were 19 years old and you'd only got three legs? Um, so, um, so yes, yeah, so, uh, um, his sister uh, was called Bonnie because they were Bonnie and Clyde. So I'm just using my thumbnail here just to mark out where I want to cut this. <laughs> That's about as much measuring as you get from me. So we're just going to pop that on there. In fact I'm going to move my blade to the top 
and then let's just put that down there. So yes, yeah, so we had Bonnie, Bonnie and Clyde, brother and sister, um, but Bonnie passed away a number of years ago now, nearly five years ago. Um, so poor old Clyde, he's still trundling along on his three legs. Um, and then we have, um, obviously we have the kitten Rosie. So we could pop that one up there, or we could have him down here in the middle. Quite like that though, that's quite cool. So I just need to snip the end off this. Um, so you're a big, um, big Doctor Who fan, Angie, I see. Um, oh, what lovely, the Bonnie and Clyde. Sorry if I'm wrong with my <laughs> English rubbish. No, your English is very, very good. Don't ever apologise. Um, it's much better than... Um, definitely made that more difficult than it needed to be didn't I? Um, then our, um, did you say you're from the Netherlands? Our Dutch. I need Jim to go with, we do, we do definitely need a Rosie and Jim don't we? <laughs> we do. Um, will the knitted jumper stencil be coming back? Another thing I've missed during my busy past few months. Oh, um, do you know what? I didn't didn't remember that it was I'd I'd didn't remember or I'd forgotten <laughs> that it was out of stock when I started using it so I do apologize so it won't be back in stock straight away um however there will be um some more stencils coming that I think you will find work work just as well um that are really really pretty so I'm just waiting for those to be delivered so do bear with me um, Annalisa's kitties are named Bella and Luna for Bella Luna as in Beautiful Moon. Oh, I love the movie Moonstruck. What a great film. Natalia says this is looking great. Thank you. Um, they're, she, they're, they're both so cute though. I, I do love cats. I'm, I'm a big cat lover, but I love, I love all animals. But cats are definitely the ones um, that, uh, you know, we, we want to have around us every day. Um, I don't know if anybody's been watching any of the um, Tiger Kings in Britain um, that's been on um, ITV. I'm just going to chop this down so it's a bit more of a workable size for me. Um, so that we can then get it to the size that we want. Um, uh, it's just, oh, just absolutely mind-blowingly, staggeringly, just wow. That, that's all, I just can't even, there aren't even any words. I have no words for, for it. <laughs> and he says, yes, there's some crazy people out there. There are a an abundance of crazy people and yeah just madness um as if you know animals haven't got enough to be contending with without us crazy humans thinking that we should be owning tigers and things as pets i, I saw uh, there was also on there there was one guy I'm just going to cut this a little bit smaller than the craft piece who um, had got a load of snakes in uh, just in um, in boxes and I said these are boxes that uh, you know I store my craft stuff in and he's got he's got animals in them um, yes I absolutely love tigers Lauren but they definitely are not pets are they so let me just have a look, see if I've cut that pretty straight, pretty straight, could be straighter. <laughs> so let's have a look, see how this is going to layer up. So if we layer that up like so, that looks quite good, quite like that there. Then we'll have our little guy just hanging around. 
coming out of the edge there and then our sentiment across there what do we think or we could have him a bit higher up um, with the sentiment I know those poor snakes um, how yeah how can they be getting the care they need when they're in those boxes so I think I quite like it at the top here because it does look like then that he's actually hanging around doesn't it and I feel like I might do a few um, I don't know might do a few like little leaves around the edge here just to cover up the edge but I think that looks quite cute yeah higher up looks better doesn't it um, Snuffy the bunny that's cute <laughs> um, yes and Angie says she loves rats and kept them for years up until 10 years ago the rats and the um, the cats not a good mixture I'm thinking <laughs> Okay, so this is coming together, isn't it? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do my sentiment, stamp my sentiment here before we start sticking bits together. And like I say, I think it would have been good to have maybe a sub sentiment, but I'm just going to add a few, um, maybe a few gems and things um, or drops along the bottom. So, and like I say, I might do a few extra little oh there's a cat speaking of cats so Rosie loves it in here in my new um, little space she thinks it's hers because obviously everything is for Rosie <laughs> that's the way it works oh hello there ahoy, ahoy, there. ahoy there how are you I'm good are you um, Oscar's gone to bed um, oh, right, okay. but uh, so he says you tonight. yeah he says you need to be here next week to tell him to go to bed right. <laughs> so I said I'd, I'd pass on the message I'll be here next week you'll be here next week <laughs> they, they got on great but Andrew says that they got on great the uh, cats and the rats she used to have rats We've just been talking about uh, those uh, strange people on UK's Tiger King. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And uh, how those people were keeping all the um, mm. snakes in craft boxes. Yeah. <laughs> craft I think, I think I'd, I'd rather live next door to a lion than a snake though. Would you? Yeah. You know like there's a couple of people that have got lions and tigers yeah. and that. I wouldn't want to be... Uh, well, the thing is, I think if we did live next to somebody who had a tiger, we'd be forever campaigning. Well, yeah. Wouldn't yeah, we? Yeah. Um, but yes, I know what you mean. I'd be very scared to ha that the snakes might get out because yeah. they, can, they can get into very tiny places. Yes. No, not a fan of snakes. Like yeah. Snakes and spiders. No, we'll, we'll not bother with them. We'll not have any of them. <sighs> You're off. Uh, no, I'm good, thank you. I've still got this one. Thank you very much. You just come to say hello. Hello, hello and goodbye. <laughs> so, um, I've just stamped out the Let's Hang Out with my Versafine Onyx Black. Can you imagine the smell though? A Tomcat smells bad enough when not noted. That is true. I hadn't even thought about that. I hadn't even considered that, Angie, but you are spot on because they would. Oh, hey, hello, spouse. That's cute. Um, it's uh, it's obviously finished finished his little um, workout. So now I am imagining he's probably going to make himself a coffee um, or a shake, um, and then we'll be on the Xbox by the time I'm done. <laughs> My neighbour who doesn't like has called their dog Ollie, which is a son's name. Pretty sure they did it on <laughs> did it on purpose. That's bad. That's really bad, isn't it? Why don't why doesn't your neighbour like you? That's not very nice, is it? So um I'll just pop that on there. Right, so we've now got we've pretty much got all of our bits together here, haven't we? Which is really cool. So we've got our let's hang out, which is gonna be matte and laid on there, and then our background, and then we've got our little little sloth oh I think that looks really pretty it's really clean and fresh um 
Alice says she's been stamping wreaths and needs to concentrate the brain cell. <laughs> Bless you. Um, what do you you needing to concentrate on just making sure you're getting some straight lines? Uh, not straight lines, get, getting some good curves. Um, you don't want straight lines on a wreath. What am I talking about? Right, let's see if any of my glues work tonight because I've not tested any of them. So I'm just going to do all of this um, flat because... See, that needs a bit of a poke. Let me get my little, um, little pin. See if I can uh, free it up. Um, because there's lots, there's actually lots of layers here, uh, really, because um, the the craft cardstock is quite thick, um, as is our super smooth um, cardstock. Oh, it doesn't want to come out. Come on, come on, glue. Oh, now you can come out. So, um, Angie was colouring, but the foster cat has decided to come and sit on it. You see, they, they'd love to get involved, don't they? They absolutely do. Oh, here we go. We've got some movement. Let's give this a try. Loving this and excited for the Critter Competition. Yes, please do. If you haven't already... Um, and you've got some of our critter stamps, then do have a go. Oh, this is going to blob everywhere if I squeeze too hard, isn't it? I'm, I'm not going to risk it. Let's try another one. Oh, they're all glued. They're all glued up, all my glues. Um, yes, our critter competition, um, our first challenge, um, first proper challenge is underway. Um, loads of great entries already so if you haven't entered then please do you've got the opportunity to win um, some time for tea goodies um, or even um, become a guest designer for us uh, next month which would be super exciting so so yeah please do check that out Jane's done as a great blog post explaining all of the rules and what you need to do to um to enter so that's over on our blog post uh, on our blog so do go and have a look there and uh, you just you can just search challenge um and that that should bring up the correct post for you um right so i've just attached that on there that looks great i love that and so now you can see that that's changed them and they look very leaf-like now. Natalie says she's loving the entries that entries she's seen. Alice says pig on scooters. We've got scooter for Easter and cats with cake. Perfect. Claire's making some sunflowers. What is everybody else making? What's everyone else doing this evening? Have I just picked up the wrong one there? The one that didn't actually work. I think I did. Yes. <laughs> um... Is, is everybody crafting along with me or are you uh, just watching and relaxing? I'm hoping that Marie is just, just relaxing there um, because she, she definitely needs to be relaxing herself. So just fitting that on the front there. Oh, Natalie's making a card for the challenge. <laughs> That's perfect. That is perfect. So I'm just going to, in fact, I'm going to pop some on the inside of here, just a bit of washi tape, just to keep my card closed because uh, it's wanting to pop open. And I just want to keep it flat while I attach these bits. Um, so again, I'm just going to pop these on flat. Can you have a blog point where I get on the blog? That one I'm not quite sure what do you mean. Um, do you want a link to the blog? Is that what uh, what you're asking me Maria? I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not quite sure on that one. So um, if anyone's able to pop a link to the blog on there, any of the design team, that would be super helpful. Um, unfortunately, I can't at the moment. Um, 
while I'm doing this. But it, the address is uh, timefortydesigns.blogspot.com, uh, I believe. Um, so I just pop that, try and centralise that on there. That's pretty cool. Oh, thank you, Lindsay. <laughs> Um, and then my little guy is going to sit on there. Now, my thoughts were um, to maybe add um, a little, couple of little leaves just on the end there um, that will just cover up um, the end of the, um, the branch. So I might just stamp those out just freehand. Uh, with a, it's got a tiny little acrylic block here and then we can see we don't have to use them but uh, I feel like I, I might like to do that so let's just stamp these out real quick Mihaela says the card looks adorable Del. thank you thank you so much I've not played with these little guys um, nearly enough so I'm excited to, to um, I've had an opportunity to use them. Um, I've got a little bit of, I'm just going to pop my cap back on there to try and keep that uh, nice and fresh. But yeah, I think that's kind of cute. And then the other thing that we could do that's in the set, um, we've got these super cute little butterflies. So you could either just add a little butterfly just um, in the background with a solid stamp or we've got this tiny little butterfly here which we could just add as well. So I think that might be quite cute to add. So, um, and it might just add a little tiny pop of colour. But again, we don't have to, but I like to um, just stamp out extra, extra bits um, so that I've got them just in case. I'm very much a just in case kind of a person. <laughs> and will tell you I've got extra of everything. I don't throw anything away because just in case. Just in case. So we've now got, and these are so quick and easy to, um, to colour in that you're not even going to even need to really watch me do it. So I'm, I'm just going to quickly just colour those, um, add a little bit of the YGF5, which are the same colours that we used, and again we'll just go back to the YGO one bring that back out. And then for our little... Um, uh, Tiny wee, um, oh no, I've lost one of my pens. Let's come back. There we go. Uh, let's have a think. Thinking probably a bit of blue is it just the tiniest little bit of blue. Um, mm -mm. That's not the colour that I wanted, is it? That's the colour I want. So we've got a B00, which is frost blue, and I think that just looks really fresh against the um, against the green. So we'll just add a little bit of colour to him there. And then along the centre, I think probably going back to the yellow and the YGO one. There we go. Simple. There we are. Put that back in there. And then I'll need my guys again. Alice and oh, Annalisa says this is looking so pretty. I love those little leaves. They're really cute, aren't they? So let's get the um, the coordinating dies. Um, Marie says so adorable, Joe. Uh, Alice says so. I've come to the stage for trinkets. How many drops for the large pads? Black memento. 
Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know what, uh, what, um, what you mean. You've come to the stage for trinkets. Oh, I'm lost. I'm lost, Alice. I'm lost. I'm, I'm, I might be being a bit simple, but I am a bit lost. So let me just line this up. Um, and I'm going to just. my washi tape and now I've put a lot of washi tape on there and I'm worried I've not lined that up very well but I think I have and what I'm going to do because this is only a very small dinky die I'm going to use my dinky die machine which I do have to hand so um, here here she is, my little mini dye machine, reinkers, <laughs> not tink, not trinkets, <laughs> reinkers. Now that makes sense. So I've never reinked my memento. So I'm um, sorry, I'm, I'm unable to answer that question. Anybody out there who might be able to answer Alice's question? Anybody done any uh, re-inking? <laughs> Autocorrect is the bane of everyone's lives. So we've got two little leaves and hopefully I've managed to line this little um, butterfly up correctly and I didn't let it move. Oh, I let it move a little bit, but I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not going to argue over that. It's the tiniest little bit. And then I'm just going to do these guys as well. I would have been better using um, a smaller piece of washi tape for my um, for my little butterfly. But um, more, more haste, less speed as they say. But um, it's not too bad. So I'm just popping him over there. I can always trim the bottom of him off if I'm feeling really annoyed with it that there and so Natalia says she's only re-inked black memento ink so I, is that what you were asking about Alice was the black memento how many drops did you use Natalia to re-ink it that is the question of the day So, let's get this. Popped out. Yay, there we go. So, and what I might do is I might cut these down. So, um, oh, I cut, these nails are very cool, but I can't pick anything up with them. <laughs> so, my thoughts were to just have my little, my little butterfly just there. And then this little guy here got a couple of leaves just on the end here overlapping or underlapping yeah that's quite good yes 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 I'm liking that kind of a that's the kind of arrangement that I was thinking of so let's see I can do this without disturbing my arrangement too much. So if I add a little bit of glue on there and then those guys there. So this is um, dry clear glue so I'm not too worried that there's a little splodge. But I'm just going to turn this over and add a bit of glue to the back there and then grab these and pop that just under there so that's quite cute creates a little bit of foliage around the end and then I'm going to pop this up on a foam pad I think um, so that he stands proud of the background so um, let me think what shall I use 
for that purpose. That's a little bit too thin. Um, let me have a look at my foam roll that I've got here. Yeah, this I might use some of our foam roll because it's a nice thickness and it'll also allow me to trim it down quite small. So um, this is still a little wet, so I'm just going to give it time to dry off a little bit. There we go. And then, oh, I've got that stuck to me. We'll pop, let's see, we'll pop that across the back of there. That works, doesn't it? Let's see. Okay, we'll do it like that. And then I just need a little, little square Let's go around here. Yvonne says she loves the pink machine. I love my little pink machine too. I wish I could get hold of some. Um, I really do because um, it's perfect. It's the perfect size. It's just so convenient for little, little dies like this. So Natalia says a few go around the edges and then in the middle you will see that the pad absorbs it easily so that means it's quite dry and repeat until you're happy. Thank you for that um, Natalia, that's really cool. Laura Ann says, says that she was quiet for a bit so he asked me to put a screen protector on and I'm a perfectionist with those. <laughs> oh yes, you have to be don't you? Can't have any bubbles. Um, so I'm just going to add a couple, one at one side um, and one at the opposite side, just so that they don't dip too much. But I don't need to cover it completely. I um, just want enough to add a bit of support and hopefully my nails will allow me to do that. Um, we'll pop that back in the little drawer here. And let's remove these from the back. And you can stick one. There we go. And let's position him just about. side <laughs> and um, and then this little guy I think I'm just gonna add in with a little bit of glue I'm gonna grab my tweezers to hang on to him because my nails are not the easiest to work with and then we'll just add him add him there didn't want him to be coming out the bottom of this heart so Move him down a little. There we go. We have our little, little butterfly just there, which is very sweet. Yes. And then we have our little, little sloth. And then for some extra little bit of bling, I do have some of my little clear drops here, which I think are very cool. So let me just have a look and see um, if we can add a few of these around and about so I think that because they're clear I think they just add the perfect little finishing touch um, so let's pop one won't come unstuck <laughs> didn't want to come unstuck Right. There we go. I think I need a different size. Do I go for a larger size? Um, maybe that one there. Yeah, that one there is quite good. And then a smaller one. Let's put 
put on there. Stick, the sticky end is very sticky today. Um, maybe a smaller one can just hang out there. I'm going to use my pokey tool to poke off the end because it's being a bit too being a bit tricksy. There we go. It's looking kind of cute, isn't it? And then um, you can either leave it at the three or I can add maybe another couple and just Um, a little one, I think. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's a good size. Again, it either needs to be there or it needs to be there. I think. Oh, it's very, very sticky. Very, very sticky. I quite like that arrangement coming down this way. Or maybe down this way. Quite good. Hmm. It's quite pretty, isn't it? What do we think? Is this all ready made or do you make the pearls? So these are, um, we, you, we do sell them in the shop um, and I believe that um, we do still have some small stocks of this ava these available. So these are mixed clear drops. Um, oh, they're so stuck. My pokey tool and my quick sticks tool are too sticky. Right, there, I'm gonna go with that I think. I like that arrangement. Um, so let's um, pop them out of the way and I'm happy with all of my, my gems and things are all easily accessible and I should have some glossy accents in here so let's just test my glossy accents for working because they do tend to get clogged up a little bit and Yes, the end of this is, seems to be very clogged. Um, that might be, you know, a, just a, a consequence of being in a much warmer room, perhaps, now. But um, I would much rather be warm, that's for certain. So, let's see if we can get these to um, stick down and not stay stuck to my quick sticks tool. So, um, just use my poker tool to disconnect them from each other. There we go. And this one just here. Oh, oh. <laughs> Doesn't want to let go. Go. Oh dear, I'm having to blow my nose a lot this evening. I think it's the, the warmth and the lights to make my nose run. Okay, so this one will pop here. Come on. There we go. <laughs> um and so this is a brand new quick sticks tool and it's super sticky. It's super duper sticky. Right, on that one there. Come on. There we go. So yeah, I do like how they, they you know, they just add a little bit of something, a bit of bling. But without it taking from the rest of your your card because they they're not coloured, they're just just clear and they allow the background to show through which I think is really cool so while we've got our glossy accents out I am going to add a little bit of shimmer to a bit of gloss to the um, to the little um, butterfly I don't think 
the name there for the moment. And then I'm going to grab my gloss black um, and I'll just test that out on a bit of paper first. And I'm just going to add that to our little sloppy nose. And there, I think we are done, I would say. Um, what do you think? Pretty happy with that. Let's clear some of my mess out of the way. And uh, see if we can zoom in a little bit, see if it'll allow me. Sometimes I think it's, it thinks I'm... Uh, There we go. Just takes me a moment to be able to grab it properly. <laughs> so what do we think? Jay says, lovely, uh, gorgeous card, lovely and fresh. Oh, Natalia, thank you for linking that. Alice says, love sloths. We got one with our sofa. Oh, really? That's so cool. Natalia says, it looks great. Lauren says, um, beautiful card. Um, Thank you so much. Oh, and Natalia sent a video on where she did some reinking. Fantastic. That's really cool. Um, any help that we can get between us. I love that we uh, were able to just help each other out and share um, our hints and tips, which is great, which is why I love doing this. Um, Michael says, hello, sorry I'm late. Any new dyes? <laughs> We haven't got any new dyes just yet, um, but we have restocked a number of our stamps, including these lovely slots, which I've just made a card with. Um, but we will have a new release for you by the 23rd of this month, so do watch out. That is the intended release date. I am just waiting for dye deliveries to come. So we'll just have a little closer look there um, at our cute slot. And I think we're done for the evening. Very, very cool. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Um, and thank you for hanging out with me. <laughs> Angie's birthday is on the 22nd. I can see a time for tea birthday present coming your way then. <laughs> um, that's fantastic. Um, yes, thank you for hanging out with me um, this evening. And... Um, I shall be back back next week with another live, but hopefully I'll be able to spend a bit more time um, updating you on what's coming up um, in the next couple of weeks. Um, once we've got all of this room straight, um, I'll also be able to do you the final tour of the craft space and show you what, uh, what we've come up with. Um, Thank you so much for sticking with me tonight and I shall see you all really soon. Night everyone. Bye.